Accelerating Growth and Profitability. That is the headline of the Q2 report from Surgical Science published this morning. To get some facts behind this, I have with me the CEO Gisli Hennemark. Welcome. Thank you, Matthias. So this headline is intriguing and reflects the numbers that came in higher than analyst expectations. Net sales amounted to 188 million Swedish kronos and adjusted EBIT landed on 44.3 million Swedish kronos. Can you give us a brief of the quarter and how this was achieved? Yes, it was a great quarter. Um, I mean, to keep on growing um, by 30% if you look in constant currencies. Uh, is a combination of uh, a strong industry OEM, which is where we license our technology to med device companies that embed simulation in their products, uh, where the license revenues that are very important for us, the royalty these companies pay, uh, grew. And now I'm not talking year over year, but I'm talking Q1 to Q2 from about 36 million to about 45 million. So it's a strong growth. But even higher growth was in our educational products. This is our own simulators where we do both the hardware platform and the software and work with the end users. It was extremely strong growth in, in that area. And I think it also shows you know, uh, the strength of combining what would used to be symbionics with surgical science with the best products under one roof best service and support organization, best distribution partners, one cloud solution. And the customers are really responding to that. So uh, it, was, it was a very strong quarter. Is this the balance between uh, operating segments, educational products and industry OEM that we can expect forward? Uh, it depends on, uh, on what timeline you look at. But uh, over time, we expect our industry OEM revenue to grow faster. Uh, we've set financial goals, long-term financial goals, and we've been talking about educational products during this five-year period to have an average growth of 10 to 15 percent throughout the period. And industry OEM with an increase in growth. So it's of course really nice to feel that, you know, we are strong out of the starting blocks, uh, especially when it comes to educational products. And that industry OEM is, uh, is going well. Uh, you know, 10 to 15 customers within the robotic surgery segment, which is the most important one. Um, but uh, also other areas of industry OEM where we work with med device companies to help them with uh, patient safety through simulation. So it's been a year now since the acquisition on Symbionics. Uh, would you say that uh, they are fully merged with uh, surgical science? I don't think it's a you know, start point and an end point, uh, but rather a continuous process. But what I do say uh, is that the one year anniversary was a day of joy. I mean, we celebrated and uh, a lot has to do with um, getting people uh, on board in one organization and I really feel the motivation from the team. Of course, not all things are perfect, uh, but overall we are delivering extremely strong results and perhaps more importantly, you have a team that's very uh, motivated and inspired and we're a simulation company and we love doing simulation. Uh, so. I'm, 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 ex I'm extremely happy with where we are one year after sort of the ink dried on the, on the contract. What is your view on further acquisitions? We have been uh, successful in, uh, in our uh, acquisition agenda. Uh, I think it comes down a lot to actually you know, doing the homework, doing the proper analysis, but then also really working prior to the acquisitions, uh, getting to know the people, you know, the main drivers between, behind these companies that we've been acquiring. And you can see everyone is still with our company after the acquisitions and are continuing contributing. And going forward, uh, acquisitions will be an important part of our strategy. 
it, we, it has been successful to consolidate a growing niche business and we still have, uh, let's say, white dots where we can uh, do uh, additional uh, acquisitions. So are you looking for a specific kind of companies and I, I'm thinking of geographical uh, where they are located and so on? No, this is more about uh, industry logic and uh, when we make acquisitions it's for a strategic reason and that's why we also fully integrate all the companies that we merge in to Certical Science. Uh, so it's basically customer base, in particularly in industry OEM with, with med device companies. It's uh, application areas. Uh, we do simulation in a lot of different clinical, uh, clinical areas. Uh, it's complementary technologies and it's a very specific competence of, of software development. These are the sort of the four factors that shape what we'd like to become part of surgical science. And, and also if you look in the reverse mirror, you see Sense Graphics 2019, Mimic Technologies January 2021, Symbionics in, in August uh, 2021. I mean, they, they all fit the bill of those things. Uh, but most importantly are the people. I mean, you know, business is not done between two Excel sheets. It's done between people. And you have to really understand the motivations behind the, the, the key people. You write that surgical science is on a good path. Uh, but there are causes for concern regarding the global economy, lockdowns in China, uh, war in Ukraine. Uh, how is uh, surgical science affected today? Today we haven't, uh, I mean, you see the figures from, from Q2, you know, to have an organic growth, constant currencies of, of you know, more than 30%, uh, adjusted EBIT, which we think is the most relevant way to measure profitability, meaning EBIT and then excluding uh, acquisition related uh, depreciations on, uh, on surplus value uh, was, you know, 24%. So it's almost one, uh, dollar out of four is profit. Uh, so, so far we haven't been affected a lot, but of course, if we now move into recession, and I mean we all read the papers, uh, and that recession becomes really long and really deep, of course it will affect us like everyone else. But I think, you know, healthcare and the healthcare sector and the macro trends of increased focus on patient safety, uh, digitalization in healthcare, those macro trends won't go away, even if we have a, a turn down in the economy. So uh, I'm optimistic. So with regards to the causes for concern just mentioned, um, two quarters now have passed since you communicated uh, the target of net sales 1.5 billion Swedish kronos by the end of 2026. Uh, are you more certain that you will achieve this today than in the beginning of the year when you communicated this? We're used to setting high ambitions at Circle Science and then actually delivering on them. Uh, and we have a history of doing so. But what I said in the Q2 report is that we're on a good path towards our uh, long-term goal. And I think in particular, I, I think maybe people have been surprised, maybe us ourselves has been a bit surprised of the strength in educational products. Maybe we underestimated that a little bit. Because the strong growth there is really nice to, if we talk about over, the, over these five years, to be on average between 10 and 15 percent. And we've been way higher now uh, in the beginning of this, of this journey towards the financial goals. That's of course very nice to be sort of, uh, you know, on a good path there. And it also builds a customer base. And we do have some revenue, uh, in particular service and support agreements, and also growing subscription revenue from our cloud services that are very important uh, for us. And if you look at having a larger install base, that means those revenues can also, uh, you, have, you have a higher chance of capitalizing basically on that install base once you got it. In July, uh, we could read uh, some news from you regarding uh, the American uh, investment fund Invesco Global uh, Opportunities became a large shareholder with about 1.5%. I think they are the 13th largest shareholder. Uh, what can you tell us about them? Will they, will, what's their strategy? Are they active or passive? 
for instance? I think we have a really nice combination in surgical science of some uh, long-term owners of, of, of flesh and blood. Uh, you know, we have Jan Bengtsson, uh, who's the Mr. Jan Bengtsson, who's the largest shareholder, and uh, then Mr. Roland Bengtsson, who's also the chairman. Uh, they've been with the company for more than 15 years. They didn't sell anything in the IPO. They've been really supporting our growth strategy. Uh, and okay, they've been diluted, but they've seen the value grow in, in their investment. And then we have a lot of mutual funds. Uh, and when it comes to the mutual funds, they're typically not um, very active in, uh, in their ownership in terms of influence in the direction of the company. Uh, but they are very, very important for us because they have been there for us when we have needed capital for acquisitions. And we see a growing interest from, uh, from foreign uh, mutual funds. Uh, and also if you look at our cap table, I think one of our largest owners is Capital Group. It's an American company. And there are several uh, large uh, international mutual funds that are among our big owners on the top 10 list. So I guess you receive more uh, investor phone calls from overseas these days? Uh, we get a lot of uh, investor interest, yes, that, that, that's, that's correct. And then you always have to balance it because, I mean, uh, at the end of the day, uh, we focus on our customers and, and, and delivering the best simulation for the, for the, for the benefit of patient safety. So, so you, you need not to spend too much time on, on those things. So what can shareholders look forward to in the second half of 2022? Uh, yeah, that's a very open question, uh, Matthias, but, but, uh, but you know, uh, we are at it every day, all parts of the organization. Uh, and in a quarter like Q2, when we were selling, um, you know, our educational simulators, uh, 120 million Swedish crowns, that's several simulators per day that we are assembling, quality assuring, delivering, installing, uh, supporting. Uh, so uh, we basically, we stick to our plan and uh, that plan has really worked and I hope it will continue working and uh, uh, that we will have uh, happy shareholders even in coming quarters. Thank you for sharing this with us today. Excellent, thank you for having me.